Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do a birthday timer countdown in Excel. Hey, Excel can do this. This is awesome. It's easy to do in Excel. Let me show you how to get started. Here's what we have done. I put in somebody's name, Michaela Carr. I've put in the birthday, which is February the 6th. In the United States, we do February, uh, the month first, and then the day. Internationally, a lot of countries, they do the day first, which makes total sense. I understand it. But here is February the 6th. So let me show you how we did this. First of all, we can easily add little uh, emojis. So you can use insert and insert symbols. And here are some symbols we can add just to make it festive. All right, so no problem there. Now, we're gonna make this where it pulls, it says days until, and it always pulls the name, whatever name is given, and then we'll have, that's their birthday. So let's get rid of that one. I've made a border here of purple, and I've made my text to be white, so it's easy to read. Now, so we're going to say days until, I'm going to put just a uh, placeholder here for the uh, name. All right, days until this person's birthday. Now, we need to make this a formula. To make anything a formula, you just put equals. And we're going to put text strings together. So I'm going to put double quote until the space after the word until. And then instead of the double X, we're going to put an ampersand, which is above the seven. I'm going to point to Michaela Carr's name. And then another ampersand. And then I need to put a double quotes because we're starting another text string. And we'll get rid of the two X's, so apostrophe S will be appended to the name, and then double quotes. So days until Michaela Carr's birthday. So what if we had a person named John Smith? Well, John Smith's birthday. We have how many days until his birthday? Let's go back to the original here. Now, how do we calculate the days? We're going to say equals... The, the birthday minus today. There's a function in Excel called today. Requires no argument, so we, we have to open and close the brackets there. So it says 1-7, if we look at it, format it for general, it's just seven days. And then to that, we're gonna add the word days. So ampersand, and then the text, so it's double quotes, space, days. And so therefore, we have days until Michaela Carr's birthday, seven days. Now, what we can do is we can change the dates. It can be uh, October 11th. How many days until October 11th? 254 days based on today's date. All right, so every time that we can put numbers in, we could make a little certificate here and say, hey, it's your birthday. There's how many days left you can give it to every person. They can type their own name in. They can type their own birthday in and so on. Let me show you the formulas real quickly on these two. Days until, and then we pull the person's name, apostrophe S, birthday, and everything that is a text string. And then we take the birthday minus today, and we get the number of days. Now, these are in whole days, seven days. Now, I'm recording this on January the 30th, and... February the 6th is seven days away, but it's only partial days away. So it's like 6.1 days away, not a full seven days. So let me show you how we do it with this. So we're going to do, first of all, we're going to take the birthday minus, there's a function called now, and that will give us a partial day. Let me make it general here. So it's 6.1 and then continues, that's how many days it's gonna be. So we can wrap this in a round function, and that will round it to like one decimal place. You can do two decimal places if you want to, but I'm just gonna round it to one decimal place. Close parentheses, so it's really 6.1 days away. And then from this 6.1 days away, we can just make that into add a text string at the end of that. So I'm gonna do ampersand, and then the double quote space, and then days. Double quotes at the end. So if we want to say how many days until Michaela's car's birthday, well, 
if we're at the end of the day, it's only 6.1 days away. When it reaches midnight, it'll be 6.0 days away. And then it keeps going. So you can check any time of day, you can get a partial day. So that's how you do a birthday countdown in Excel. See you on the next video.